better sites to sell on than Amazon and eBay. Okay. So you're selling on Amazon and eBay and you're getting crushed. You're getting crushed because you can't, you can't compete with these low prices and the fees are ridiculous and you don't know what to do. Well, you've landed on the right video because I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to show you better places that you can be selling your products on, making more money, have less hassle, less competition. And we're starting right now. Hey, I'm JR Fisher. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a big subscribe button down there and next to it. Look next to it. There's a bell. Got to ring the bell. If you ring that bell, turn on all notifications you'll be part of the Fisher family, the VIP group that gets notified every time I do one of these videos. Okay. So I've sold millions of dollars of products online, both digital and physical products. And I gotta tell you, I started off at eBay and I went to Amazon and I had them both rolling pretty good. And I learned a lot along the years and we've sold a lot of different products, but you know, since I started and I started selling in 2009, there's a lot of other places. There's a lot of other alternatives out there. Now eBay used to own the market. I mean, eBay was where you had to be. And when I started out, Amazon was not even that big in 2009, they were big, but eBay was the place you want to sell your products. And a lot of that's changed. So in this video, I'd like to share with you my opinions on that in places that you can make some money. You don't have to pay these stupid fees and you don't have to, you know, lower your price to where you aren't making any profit. And just listen, you're going to love this. Now, the good part about eBay is that it's huge. The bad part about eBay is that it's huge. <laughs> it's really hard to stand out. If you're selling products on eBay or Amazon, it's really hard to get your product in front of people. Now, sure you can run ads and have it pop up at the top, but if you don't want to run ads and you just want to get some business, maybe you don't have money to run ads. Maybe you're just starting out eBay and Amazon. I think it's not going to be the place for you. Now, the first one I want to tell you about is eBid. eBid is very similar to eBay, but the cool thing is you never pay more than a 3% fee to sell. Now, you know, you can be into double digits with uh, eBay and that's pretty darn high. And also as of this recording, there's a $99 lifetime seller fee. In other words, you pay this 99 bucks, you can sell for a lifetime on there and they run specials every now and then where you can get as much as 50% off. So you want to check out eBid really cool site. If you're selling all around the world, eBid's great. Well, what if you're selling locally? What if you just want to sell local and you know, eBay takes so much of your profit, you know, it may be some items around the house. You just want to get rid of. Here's what I'm going to tell you. And a lot of people are scared of it, but don't be, if you do it right is Craigslist. Craigslist is a great site to sell stuff on. You do have to be cautious. Yes, there are scammers out there. I'm going to cover that before you guys say that and put stuff in the comments. Cause I know, I know there are scammers out there. Matter of fact, if you did get scammed and you had a problem, put it in the comments there. You may help some other people. Now, the cool thing though, I mean, let's, let's, let's put it out on the table here is that there's no listing or selling fees on Craigslist for most items. Now I know some of the categories do have fees now, but for the most part, if you have some items around the house, you want to sell or some individual items, you're just going to sell. There's no fees. Now it's primarily a local type thing. So if you're trying to sell nationwide Craigslist, not for you, but if you're trying to sell local, it's really good. And the safe thing to do is meet these people at a, I don't know, UPS store or something along those lines or a coffee shop and you can get the items to them pick a close place to your house and say hey this is where I'll be this is how you can pick up the item another cool thing that I like to do if I'm selling something local is I just give them my PayPal account I said as soon as I receive the money I will meet you at the store at three o'clock or whatever time we pick uh, if I don't receive the money I don't go down there I don't waste my time everything's all set that way what I found is 99% of the people will pay you on time and you can get rid of that item so Craigslist is really good for locally sold items. Now, another newcomer in the market is called let go. Let go is really cool. And it's an app on your phone. Um, and all you have to do is open the app. And the cool thing about let go that I like, that's a little bit more, uh, I guess, inviting than Craigslist is that as soon as you open the let go app, you'll see items and images on the very first page. It's there Craigslist. You're going to have to search through it a little bit to try to find the items you want, but on let go, the items are right there. People see those items. So you're actually getting some free advertising. The next one up is offer up. OfferUp is a great one. It's an app on your phone. 
and it's it's very similar to let go and as much as when you log in you're going to see images right on the pages now they're not categorized but you can search by categories in addition to that you're still going to have to set up a meeting place and time with anybody who wants to buy your products but it works a lot like let go the next place that a lot of people i think overlook my wife's really good at using this is the facebook marketplace you can put stuff in the facebook marketplace and sell locally now the cool thing i like about the facebook marketplace is when somebody contacts you through facebook you can actually go to their profile and see who they are if you're using something like craigslist you don't know who they are you don't know where they are you don't know if it's a scam it's not a scam um you know if you take the right precautions you're going to be okay but the thing about facebook is i can look at their personal profile now i guess the drawback is if you want to sell to people they have to be on facebook uh, but most people do have a profile on facebook even if they don't use it a lot they probably have one just to stay in touch with family members so you're going to reach a lot of people on facebook and the other the other question i ask is if you do not have a profile on facebook and it's 2020 what's going on okay <laughs> are you hiding something is something wrong uh, i have a profile on there i don't really post that much on my personal profile but i'm there and you know that lets people know who i am what i do they can figure it out am, am i am i a scammer am i not a scammer it's pretty easy to see the next one is book ooh that's b-o-o-k-o-o -O. now they're a fairly newcomer in the market but they are in most states in the u.s and some states more than others they're more of a local sales thing there's no selling fees there's no buyer fees so that saves you money right there now you may say to yourself well they're not very big and there's not that many listings there and that's true and you're not going to have as much exposure but keep in mind if you're on a site like that you have less competition also there's fewer people selling so your products can show up a whole lot easier on a site like buku now i want to get into those of you out there who are selling clothing i don't do this i've never sold or bought it but i know my wife has and it's a big thing and the first one i want to talk about is poshmark now at the time of this recording poshmark makes things pretty easy it's really great if you've got women's clothes men's clothes kids clothes you want to sell they have a flat fee anything that's under 15 dollars is a 295 fee so there's not a lot of profit there but you, if you're just trying to get rid of items I, I get it you know that that works anything over 15 bucks you're going to pay a 20 percent fee so it is a pretty high fee but keep in mind you set the price and it's a one-of-a-kind item because what you're doing here is you're selling used items a lot of people make a lot of money selling used items they go to thrift stores they buy stuff for a dollar or two they put it online for 15 20 bucks so it is a great place to sell clothing poshmark now the next site is vented v-i-n-t-e-d it's a great place to buy and sell secondhand clothing now a lot of it is vintage secondhand clothing but here's the cool thing about this site they don't charge any fees whatsoever all you got to do is list your products on there and collect the money you're still going to have to do something like paypal to get people to pay you but i've found that paypal pretty much everybody has nowadays and if they don't they can set up an account in a couple minutes and they can get the money to you and you don't have to worry about the money being good a bad check bad credit card or any of that stuff now keep in mind when you use paypal there is a fee in many cases so you're gonna have to pay a fee there but since you're not paying any fees to sell on the site it's a pretty good deal now the next one is tradesy this is the last one i want to talk about but it's a really cool site this is more for the people who are selling designer handbags clothing shoes that type of thing their fees are a little bit high however people come to the site looking for these products so if you have got a you know high-end designer type product you want to sell it's a great place to sell it for any items over $50 they're going to charge you a 19.8 percent fee for anything under $50 they're going to charge you a $7.50 fee now that could change that was at the time of this recording but that's not not a bad deal if you've got some high-end vintage shoes you know handbags clothing designer stuff that you want to sell that's a great site to sell it on now there's a lot of other sites you can sell on I just wanted to briefly go through these because so many people are wanting to sell maybe even used items and eBay has just become cost prohibitive and the competition's too stiff and the prices are too low and you just can't sell anything so what I've noticed is a lot of these apps are going to more localized type sales where you can sell locally you can make money and some of them don't even charge fees like I just told you check out some of these sites maybe you've got some sites in mind that you think are really good too if you do you know 
put those in the comments below let us know about those sites there too you can't put urls but you can tell us what the site is so that you can share with other people and maybe help them out i really appreciate you listening to this video and don't forget you got a comment put a comment below ask me a question if you've got any questions about selling stuff online that's what i do e-commerce and digital products i just sell online that's what i do and i want to help you guys out this is your channel okay this is not my channel no it's not my channel because if it was just me there'd be nobody else here it's you guys it's you guys who listen to this video so give me a thumbs up if you would thumbs down if you don't like it that's fine too don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell there's a bell right next to that subscribe button you gotta ring it you gotta turn on all notifications i really appreciate you listening to this video and i'll see you in the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.